What a win for the Flyers at the Wells Fargo Center. The first time they have beaten the Bruins since October of 2021. Welcome into Post Game Live presented by Curado Insurance. Ashlyn Scott and Al here with you. And it was the most exciting game at first, but the third period said otherwise. And the Flyers stepped up just when they needed it most, Scott. Yeah, it was a sleepy game for 40 <laughs> minutes. Yeah, you were bang on there, Ashlyn. But just what, what a shot by Tyson Forster. What an absolute laser beam. The young kid just keeps to uh, impressing everybody with, the, with his release, his play, defensive play, everything, but uh, you know, Sam Harrison played great in, in that as well. Just a solid, solid game. Yeah, this, is a, this is a great win. Mm -hmm. I mean, whether it was it was sleepy the first couple oh. of periods to get through, but then to come back and to then have it, you thought, okay, it's going to slip away, going to slip away, but they never stopped. Mm -hmm. They would, one to nothing, two to one. Then, then you manage to get the win. Konechny gets, you know, he's starting to get hot again, so that's really important, as you mentioned, the goaltender. So, man, there's so much to light, and you keep the pressure on the teams behind you to try to keep up with you at this point in that playoff race. Right, and that leads us to our PA Lottery winning moment of the game, and it is Tyson Forrester's <laughs> goal. We knew all year he had a shot like this, and when he lets it go, it rarely doesn't work, Scott. Well, yeah, and I thought he could have shot the puck you know, a few more times, but look at this pickup here on this pass by Palin. Kind of knocks it out of midair. It was, it was bouncing there, Al. Then he releases it and shoots it through the stick, and Bush is bang on, didn't get deflected. Just an absolute laser beam. Yeah, absolutely. To take that, no panic as it goes there, and then under the stick, up over the glove, and Bush did, that. Yeah, Bush did a great job with you thinking as a goaltender, you're getting the hope. You're, you're starting to go down, and that rocket comes going up, up over your glove. Just a great shot. And he's getting, I think he's getting more and more confident with it to just take it. And just bar, bar I think he hit both bars, but it was, it was so <laughs> fast, the shot, that you couldn't really slow it down and tell. But just a great play there by Paling, bringing that defender over into the middle of the ice, giving some room to, uh, to force her on that uh, weak side there. And, uh, man, just that release. And there's the defenders thinking, okay, I push out to the side, goaltender's there, but it was, you know, go under the stick and then on bar down, as you mentioned, that, <laughs> under the, over the, the, that's hard to stop. <laughs> yes, it is. Tyson Forrester, his 18th goal of the season after ripping one off the post in the first period. And the best thing about this Flyers offense right now is every day it's someone different, especially when you look at the other night, it's Owen Tippett, it's Morgan Frost. Today, it's TK and Tyson Forrester starting to get more of a committee here going on. Yeah, you need it, right? Mm -hmm. In these tight games, and, and I just just love the way the Flyers are, are comfortable in these tight games. You know, one nothing. Uh, you know, uh, through the third period, partway through the third period, but just kind of just grinding away, getting pucks out, chip, just slowly gaining ice into the offensive zone. And and like you said, TK with a, a great game as well. Morgan Frost, another yeah. solid game for Frosty. Yeah. So uh, Tippett had his wheels going all night. So I, you look through that whole line. Couturier, after being sat for a couple games, he comes in and, and he was very effective tonight out there in the last minute as well. Yeah, and it's like a playoff atmosphere if you're the Flyers right now you know big building here full Bruins coming in haven't beaten them forever and then Frost what I really liked Ashton was they didn't sit back at all and to be able to he, he tried that alley you pat and this is the third period in a tight game like this that pass, just just really the, to have the confidence to do that and push it that that shows you a team that's not just there to be just, okay, we'll have a good showing. No, it's a team going to go all out to get that win. Right, and Tyson Forrester with the confidence to rip that game a winner. He's standing by with J.J. and Boosh. Thanks, Ashlyn. You're looking at Tyson Forrester, who has scored the big goal in this one. A late game winner, his 18th of the year. Tyson, I know you're early in your career. You've got 18 of them now, but was that the biggest one so far? Uh, yeah, I think so. You know, just coming down the stretch, we, I think we've been playing some good hockey, just haven't been getting the outcomes, but uh, that, that game we didn't give up, and, you know, lucky enough, we got the outcome we wanted. Uh, Tyson, what was the message uh, on the bench when they tied it up at two? I mean, things seem to be going in the right direction, but... Uh, you got to regather your thoughts there, right? What was the message on the bench when they tied it? Oh, uh, you know, just keep playing the same way we've been playing. I think we've been playing great, like I said, and we just didn't want to stop. Uh, I think we played, outplayed them and it felt good for sure. One of the big goals this year for the team was to get the young players. You're one of them. Some meaningful games here in March and April, and certainly you guys have done that. Do you notice a big difference in, in the pace, the intensity, and all that? Uh, yeah, I mean, for sure. I think, you know, we always wanted to get to the playoffs. That was our goal at the start of the year. That's everyone's goal. And I think we've done a pretty good job of, you know, setting ourselves up pretty well if we keep playing like we've been playing. And, you know, we're looking forward to it. What's the importance of beating a, a Boston team that has had the Flyers number over the last little while? Uh, you know, I think it was the same same game plan as always. Chip pucks in, play patient, and take it one shift at a time. Final question, Tyson. Uh, nobody expected the Flyers to make the players this year in terms of the outside world, the, the prognosticators as they're, they're known. Is, is there a chip on, on your, your collective shoulder to say, hey, we're going to show you? 
Well, yeah, right from the start of the year, you know, no one counted us out, or everyone counted us out, sorry, and I think we're proving everyone wrong. It's, it feels good. Yeah, you're on your way. Tyson, congrats on the goal. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Well, Tyson Forrester with the game winner there, but we have to mention Travis Konechny as well. He's our Yingling Presents logger up. Two goals for him, and we saw him coming back from that injury. He admitted it. There was a little rust to knock off. Well, safe to say the rust is knocked off, Scott. And a power play yeah. goal, Al, if you can believe it. <laughs> the last in the league, and uh, not your typical uh, setup, but uh, good patience here by Ryan Paling, uh, getting that puck over the lot, and, uh, and it has uh, kind of a fake shot there, missed shot there by Forrester yeah. and TK. On the back door. Hey, that's when you that's when you, you get paid off for the for the hard work, right? You get paid off for it. You miss the shot, but you're right there, you're in the right spot, get through. Now the Bruins jumped on that, didn't have the defenseman back, but and the goaltender loses a <laughs> loses a stick on it, and you take advantage of everything. And just just to get a power play goal, I don't care how how, how you set it up, in, just yeah. just to get it because they had some that had some motion, and this one you can tell TK up against the boards there, he's starting to feel it again. And you, and you can tell those goals that it could have been a difference of one yeah. goal. It was a difference of one goal, but every goal was so important. And here's another uh, great sneaky shot. He's trying to do a pass off yeah. pad here uh, to Owen Tippett. They crash in the back door and then somehow sneaks in. Yeah, that's a Vezina winning goaltender. It's just a bad goal. Uh, but, I mean, you get it on net, you, and, and if you're trying to get it off the pad, you're right there going in, to, goaltenders, I got to think, would peek at who's coming in at them or whatever. So you get pressure there, and just for coming in at the net, maybe you take a little peek over there, but it's, it's, uh, it's hard to imagine. It's hard to imagine getting a break like this against that goaltender. Yeah, you, you are. You're probably taking a peek to your left. Yeah. Bush would probably be the guy to ask on that, but then you're kind of take your eye off the shooter for yeah. a second. Next thing you know, it's, it's released in a, in a half a second on the ice and slow to get down and make that save. So, uh, you know, sometimes it's the softer shot or the, the unsuspecting shot that uh, leads to a goal. Yeah. yeah, and it works. And I go back to that power play goal, Alan. I liked how Travis Konechny in intermission admitted that it was him a lot of times that was screwing up the power play, and we always thought, what is going to be the answer here? And Travis Connect, you said, we just have to stick with it because eventually it's going to work, and you hope now this is some momentum going forward. Yeah, you do. I mean, you know, it's a lot of confidence going in, being willing to be there. I can't explain what's happened to the power play at times. I mean, <laughs> it, you've got some potential there. They've tried everything on it, maybe too many things on it. But once you get it going and get some confidence, get in front, then look like just simple, just get it to the net. Yeah, well, you don't have a McDavid, yeah. right, that can skate around everyone and, and make plays and the dry settles doing the one-timers back the net. they they got to do it by committee. they got to work at it. you got to outwork the penalty kill. you got to get shots. you got to get bodies in front of the net. A lot of those things, and it seems like they're doing them sometimes or yeah. half the time, but uh, not consistently enough. But yeah. it, it was uh, you got to grind it out and get the goals the way you can. Yeah, and you see the difference that it makes. The Bruins with Pasternak, who they kept off the, again, uh, not able to, I mean, had to miss the net once, but don't score on the power plays. Just, it's just an enormous difference to cash one power play goal. Right, and it's pretty clear, especially this week for the Flyers and the gauntlet of the schedule. We all talked about who John Toretto really believes in. And in my mind, when I'm watching this game, I'm seeing Morgan Frost. I'm seeing Ryan Paling, his ice time as well. It's guys you can tell he has a lot of confidence in. He's, I think he's got confidence in every line, right? Even the fourth line today with Cades, Kachuri, and Lexell, they were out there with a couple minutes to go uh, protecting that lead, right? So it, it's, it's, it, it's good that he has different guys he can use at different times so you're mm -hmm. not wearing out a guy that's out there for every face-off, every you know, last couple minutes. And exciting to be out there in the last minute. Uh, you got the empty net, no goalie, maybe a cookie, maybe yeah. a, an assist. Uh, but more importantly, it's, it's just the winning, uh, the winning nature of this team. Yeah. That's how they're built. Even the defensive pairings. Johnson had a big, a big, big block in this game to sweep, yep. sweep a puck away. Just that pairing to come out. So there's guys that are really getting a taste of what pressure is late in an NHL season. And Adam Jenning and Ronnie yep. Adder, uh, both of those guys, uh, you know, they're what, fifth, sixth game uh, uh, this year that they played. And, and they're out there in the last couple minutes of a period uh, of the game as well. So it, it's exciting for those young guys to have those opportunities and uh, the confidence that the coaches have in them. Right, making an impact. And Sean Couture as well back in the lineup after being, being a healthy scratch the past two games. He is downstairs. Let's hear what he has to say. Yeah, I felt great. Uh, you know, just happy to be back and uh, contribute in any way I can. And uh, just big two points. Did you play angry? Maybe put a little chip on your shoulder after what's going on here the last week or so? Not really. I just tried to come back to the basics, play you know a little more simple hockey, and just let the game kind of come to me. Um, yeah, and I thought our line did a pretty good job at you know creating some some four checks and momentum couple offensive opportunity uh, chances so uh yeah was, I, I thought overall it was i mean the whole team great effort great team effort Sean, Sean we'll talk about the game 
playoff like checking intensity. Tim, who's there a good example of that? Oh yeah, real really tight. I think uh, even like low low shots, you know, after two periods. Um, uh, those those are the kind of games uh, you play, you know, late in the year and, and into playoffs. And uh, you got to stick with it, be patient, not get frustrated. I thought we did a good job, you know, when they they kind of gained some ozone time and, and start, you know, cycling and Pasternak trying to, you know, create some offense. Uh, we, we we stuck tight, we blocked some shots and did what we had to to uh, to keep it out of our net. And you know, we gained momentum when we when we needed. Sean, when we uh, talked to you earlier this week, you kind of said you didn't have a full understanding of, of what John Tortorella and the coaching staff were, were looking for from you. As the week has progressed, do you now have a, a better understanding of, of what they want to see from you? I mean, it's uh, it's it's behind me now. It's uh, I don't want to really talk about it. Um, I just want to help the team in any way I can. Um, and you know, it, it all worked out well. You know, we got three out of four points, so uh, now five out of six. So um, you know, I thought as a team we all responded really well. How big was this win Sean, uh, against a team that some think is the best in the NHL? Was that how big was this win for? Against the team that some people think is the best in the NHL. Yeah, it's 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 huge. I think it's good for our confidence. Um, you know, I think if you look at these past four or five games, you know, we've we've been in it um, against some really good teams. Um, you know, so I think we can start believing in ourselves, and and we're one of those teams. So um, we just got to keep. Rolling. Do you feel you had a little bit more energy tonight? You know, I know you hate to not be playing, but do you feel you had like a little bit more jump? Because you know, maybe it seemed from upstairs, <laughs> you look like you were skating a little bit better, moving a little bit more free today. Yeah, definitely felt. I mean, fresh. <laughs> um, you know, had a week to kind of just you know recover, refocus, recharge the battery, and um, like I said, I'm, I'm, any way I can help the team, I'll, I'll do it. And, um, that's all that matters. Players get scratched all the time, but when a team scratches their captain, like you guys just did over the last two games, and then you guys get five of six now in these last three games, what does it say about the message that you guys just said that, you know, you guys, everybody is contributing? Yeah, um, honestly, like I said, it doesn't matter anymore. It's we, Like you said, we got five out of six points. That's all that matters at this time of the year. Um, you know, I'm just happy it all worked out, and, you know, I'm back uh, contributing. Sean, you and your relationship. When you hear Sean Couturier there, wants to move past the healthy scratch, and rightfully so because it has been the topic of conversation all week long. He's gotten so many questions about it, and now, Al, you wonder, is it everyone moving past this where we're going to see Sean Couturier in the lineup going forward? Yeah, and when you go rewind to when we knew that he was going to be scratched, yeah, people asked uh, Tortorella, and he said, I don't worry about him, he's a pro, and eventually you get this response, no matter what you're thinking underneath or whatever, you're not going to say anything to upset... I mean, what would it sound like? A team gets a couple of wins while you're out. And, and you know, did, you, you have to just say, well, they, we played well. We got five out of six points. You're the team captain for a reason because it's, it's team before self, and that's why he's a captain. You ask, you know, all 20 of those guys that are in a Flyers uniform every night, you ask them what they're going to do. They're going to try and help the team win, just like he, uh, just like he did say that. And, I, and I'm done with the questions, too. Uncle with the, oh, you're the captain, and you scratch, whatever. It, it's behind us. Let's move forward. And, uh, you know, he definitely added a, a, a little bit more stability on that on that fourth line, and and I thought he played you know one of his best games. He didn't get any points, but he was taking pucks to the net. He was going to the net, uh, making little plays defensively, great sticks. So uh, everything that we know and love about Sean Couture, he was doing he was doing that tonight. Yes, he was back in the lineup after being a healthy scratch for two games. And the Flyers they get a big win over the Boston Bruins here at the Wells Fargo Center. Stay with us. Post game live presented by Curado Insurance on NBC Sports Philadelphia. Flyers Post Game Live is presented by Cure Auto Insurance. See how much you can save at cure.com.